Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Callisto from the WWE. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eye. So I'm going to move over to the left side and just draw the inside edge of the eye hole. Starting from the outside, I'm going to come down and in. Now right here I'm going to curve in the opposite direction down towards the inside. Now let's leave a small gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside, curve up and out. Now right here we're going to curve up towards the top. From the ends I'm going to curve out and then back in. Now we're going to connect the outside to the inside with a curve. We're going to start by going across and then we'll just pull that down. Now on the inside we're going to draw on the upper eyelid. Starting on the left side, I'm going to curve in and then just pull that down. Do the same thing on the right. So lining this up, curve up and then out. Let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. Starting on the left side, we step in. Draw a half circle coming down and then back up. On the left side of each eye, I'm going to draw a circle for a highlight. So we start on the left side, start with a circle. Now we want to line this up on the right side, so this is going to get tucked in underneath the upper eyelid. In the center of each eye, I'm going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil, so starting at the bottom of the highlight. And we'll fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now in between the eyes and the center, we're going to step down, start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve up and out towards the left side, just underneath the eye. To right about there, we'll do the same thing on the right side. And from the ends, we're going to come straight down the edge of the mask. Now from the bottoms, I want to curve around the side of the eye and then we're just going to flick it back out. So let's start on the left. We're going to go around, going around the eye. Now right up here, we're going to curve out in the opposite direction. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by curving around, pulling it in. Now right at the end, we'll just flick that out. In between these two points, we're going to step up and draw a curve for the chin. And come down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now underneath that point, we're gonna step down and draw a curve from left to right. Starting down here, we're gonna curve down, and then back up. From the ends, I'm gonna curve down and out towards the side of the chin. Now let's add the mouth. We're gonna step down again, and draw a curve from left to right, going up, and then down. We're going to step down and draw a curve in the opposite direction for the lower lip. Now let's go back up to the top. We're going to work our way down towards the center. Starting from the end, I'm going to curve in and then down. And I'm going to curve back up and out again. We're going around and out. Now from here, I'm going to curve in and pull that down. I'm going to draw a swirl. I'm going to swirl this around and then go back out. Do the same thing on the right, curving in and down. Now right here we're going to swirl around and then go back out. We're going to pull this in towards the center, we're going to leave a gap in the middle. Coming in to right about there. Now from these two points we're going to go up and in towards the center point. Now let's trim out the top area. So from the left side we're going to step down, we're just going to follow these curves all the way around. All the way towards the right side even space gap in between. Now we're going to draw a trim around the eyes, but we're going to add some flames along the top. So let's start from the inside corner, we're going to step in, curve out, and then up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From the top, I'm going to swirl around, curve in, go up, and then we're just going to flick that out. Do the same thing on the right side. 
Now we're gonna work our way back down, curving down. Now we're gonna work our way up toward the top of the trim, going up to the top. Now from here, we're gonna work our way around the side of the mask. And we'll just connect these two points. In the center of the mask, we're gonna step down, start with a point. We're gonna curve down and out toward the left, and then the right. Now from these two points, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down towards the center. Let's add a little bit more detail to the cheek area. Starting on the outside, we're just gonna angle in, and then we'll just angle back out. Let's add some whiskers along the bottom of the chin. So in the center, we're gonna draw one straight line. We're gonna work our way over towards the left side with evenly spaced out lines. Now we're gonna get a little bit shorter as we go out. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Now at the top of the head, he has these fins. So we're gonna start in the center. We're gonna curve around, back over to the right, and then back to the left. We're gonna add a couple points. We curve around and then in. And we're gonna hook this back out. Now we're gonna work our way back down towards the bottom, curving in and then down. Now let's move over to the left. We're gonna add another fin on this side, lining up the bottom. We're gonna curve around and then up. We'll do the same thing on the right side, stepping over, curving around and then back in. Back on this side, we're gonna curve out. Now we're just gonna taper that back in and we'll go all the way up towards the top. Now we're gonna connect those two points with a curve coming down. We take that and flip it over on the right side. Now we're gonna draw on the top of the head in behind these fins. So let's start on the left side here, curve over, in behind, we'll continue in between, and then back down on the right side. All right, so now that we've drawn the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm gonna start with the sides of the body first. Just below the chin, we're gonna step down, draw a curve going out, and then down towards the hip. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Let's connect the bottoms with a curve, coming down the middle and back up. We step up and draw that same curve. Now in the center of the body, I wanna add the lower part of the chest. Starting on the left side, we're just gonna curve up and then back down. Let's draw the flap down the center. So from the hips, we're gonna step in, draw a curve, coming around and in. I'm gonna hook this back up. Now we curve around in the opposite direction, coming down and then out. And then we'll angle in with a straight line towards the center. Now let's trace this out on the inside, starting at the very top. Now underneath the flap, we're gonna draw the inside of the leg. From this point, we'll step over towards the left, curve out and down on both sides. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From heel to toe, we'll curve down and then back up. Now from the toe, I'm gonna to curve the top of the foot. We're gonna go up and down, aiming towards the heel. We're gonna stop right about there. and we're gonna curve in the opposite direction towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right, curving up, Pulling it down, aiming towards the heel. And I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the inside of the leg. From the hips, I'm going to curve out the leg and then back on top of the foot. So I'm just going to give us a curve going out and then pulling that back in. Let's add a little bit of detail along the top of the leg. So on the left side, we're just going to hook it down and in, and then we'll hook it back out. I'm going to trim this out on the outside. Do the same thing on the right. Now at the bottom of the leg, we're gonna add the shin guard. So about halfway down the leg, curve down and in, 
and go straight down towards the top of the foot. Now again, we're gonna just trim this out on the inside. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. So taking that same curve and just drawing it just up above. Now let's move back up and finish off with the arms. So about halfway down the body, I'm gonna curve out and then down towards the wrist. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Now back on the left side, we're gonna start with the thumb. Small half circle. And at the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna swirl around the bracket and go up. We'll step back down, curve around the second finger. Now the third finger, we're not gonna go all the way up. We're gonna go about just a little bit more than halfway up towards the shoulder. And then from here, we're just gonna do another bump, curving out and then in behind the head. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with the thumb and then a bracket. I'm just gonna add the fingers going around the bracket, add the second finger, and then the third finger again, we're gonna go all the way up, just up to the base of the shoulder, just matching up the height. I'm gonna bump this out again and then go in behind the mask. Now let's draw on the edge of the glove. Starting from the outside, we're just gonna curve around and in. Do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna step down, just follow that same curve. So the trim. Now right at the base of the shoulder, we're gonna draw on a strap. Right in here, we're gonna curve down and in. Right where the body meets the arm. We're gonna step up and draw that twice. And that's pretty much it. There's Callisto from the WWE. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.